Good morning. Today is Dahlia Day. So I'm going to show you some of the dahlias in my garden and what I'm doing to help them grow healthy and strong. Let's hope. This is the senior dahlia in the garden. She's the grand dame. And this is a dinner plate dahlia because they're, they get very large. Um, some as big as dinner plates. This one not quite, quite there. Um, this one I've just picked. Very beautiful. The color is stunning. And these will generally bloom sort of through the beginning of fall. I remember when my daughter got married last October, um, this was in bloom and there was these gorgeous purple blooms against all of the orange and yellow Halloween colors. So um, I'm looking forward to another great season. Now this, uh, this Dahlia, because she is senior and um, has lots of stems coming up, I just uh, staked. I should have staked her earlier, so, you know, we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, you can see, I put a stake here and then I put a little tie here to keep her up because they, they are very tall. They get tall, but they wanna flop on the ground. So this one still has a little bend in her because I didn't get there on time. So I actually put one, two, there's one, three, and there's one over here. Yep, four stakes in the ground for this dahlia just to see if I can get them to um, grow up straight and tall. But you can see I'm gonna be getting some beautiful ones here. Now next to her is a brand new member of the garden and this is strawberry ice dahlia. I could not, not take her home. Look at her. It's not just that she has these gorgeous colors. It's that the petals look a little bit like a firework. Look. <gasps> mm. So, and she's so prolific. She's not yet planted. I gotta give her a big drink today because I'm gonna try to plant her tonight. It's getting hot and I will have to stake her as well. Oh, she is just stunning. Strawberry ice, dinner plate dahlia. Welcome to the garden. And we have one more dahlia, so a few more dahlias to look at in the backyard. Here in the backyard, I used uh, sort of mini dahlias not dinner plate dahlias, to edge the garden with the bacopa. So they've just come into their own, you can see. This is the Figaro mix. I don't know why it's called Figaro mix. But you can see they're short, compact. They have lots of flowers. You can see lots of flowers coming on that one. Over here, really beautiful, a fuchsia color. Look at the pretty petals on the ground. Very prolific. And then a red one here. And another red one here who seems much happier. So I would say that those dahlias that get a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade are happier than those that don't. So that's the dahlia tour. We've got two dinner plate dahlias and one, two, three, four, five little compact dahlias in the back garden just showing off for the summer season.